What's good, YouTube? It's Money Making T back in the building again. Got another good video. Told you I was going to start bringing some more content. So, we're definitely going to start trying to drop some more videos every day. You know, let me know what y'all need to learn about. There's some questions y'all have out there. Just go ahead and drop them in the comments. Please like and subscribe this video. Uh, like I said, I'm going to keep on trying to bring some content to you. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop some comments down, in, down below. And today we're going to talk about finding products on Amazon, uh, just kind of doing the reverse sourcing method, trying to find any kind of sellers we can sell. And again, we're looking for these big retailers, uh, Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's, Target, any of those big name brands. We're trying to find the sellers that are selling products on Amazon. That way we can look through their little list of products that they have on their stores and pick the best ones out without using any tools like I did last time using Keepa. If, if you didn't see that video, I'll leave a link down or put it somewhere up or below. Um, just go ahead and check that one out if you want to learn how to use Keepa to find products. Today, we're just going to use Amazon, uh, use another good tool, use Seller Amp. I'm going to show you a little in-depth, more detail about that one. Let's get straight into it. So I don't know if y'all heard on my last video, I had a CVS gift card that I didn't use. So I'm going to try to look for CVS products. So what I do is I search for CVS at the top up here. And I'm just going to kind of scroll through, you know, look at what products they have. See which ones have the best ratings on them. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go with this first one. This one looked pretty good. 197. Five star. Four out of eight. Not bad. So once you click on that, we're just going to kind of look over here. As you can see, that seller amp tool pops up. Right here, what it does kind of gives you a little bit more in depth details about the product, breaks down the BSR, which is the ranking, also your estimated sales that you are looking at for this product. And then it also gives, goes a little bit better and tells you what your max cost you want to get this product for. But we're looking for the sellers that are selling this product. So we're going to scroll down here to the bottom part. And right here, we're looking, as you can see, just a couple offers. I'm going to look through their ratings. I'm, again, I'm looking for the sellers that have one through 500 rating. Again, the rating just kind of tells you how many products they sold and buyers that have rated their products. So what I'm looking for, we'll go with this guy right here. 23, he's not bad. One, that's good. 643 let's start with these okay so what the seller app tool does it'll just open up their store kind of gives you a breakdown of their top selling products that way you can kind of look at what they're selling the most of i'm just gonna look through i'm looking for stuff that doesn't have amazon as you can see it says amazon here we don't want to compete with amazon this one's look at this chart uh, you don't want to see that you want to see a stable chart so we'll go this one looks good 19 uh five okay so we'll just click on right here and this will pull it up on amazon and we'll look at it see if we can find this product so this is another thing i like about the seller app everything's right here it kind of breaks down what the product is doing and it also We'll search for it on Google for you so you can, there you go. As you see, just search for it on Google and it popped up on Walmart. $5.48. Rakuten. If you don't know what Rakuten is, it's a cashback website. Definitely want to sign up for that. Make sure you get your cash back. As you can see, 3% on top of what you're already paying for this. So it, it'll definitely add up if you're buying products for Amazon. But we'll just remind that later. So this product right here, we found it on Walmart, not even five minutes, maybe even three minutes into this video. And we already found it for 548. So we'll go plug that in. Oh, I already have it here. So there you go, 548. Uh, it's not my standards, but it is a 50% ROI. And looking at about $2.76 profit. It's not bad. It's definitely not bad for a product. It took us five minutes to find. Looks like you can can compete with this product at fourteen thirty five selling it. I mean, 
I would want a little bit more profit, but it, I mean, it's definitely not bad. That's it's profit. Profit is profit. So we got one product off of them. Let's keep on cruise and see what else they could find. All right, we'll close. Dr. Teals. Again, I'm just looking at their graphs, trying to see what the graphs are doing, making sure Amazon's not on these listings. Uh, they got a lot of Amazon on their listing. I saw one up there, this one right here. I like to stay above 25 on the buy box. Let's try this other one to see if we can find this one. Looks like it's going up. And click on Amazon, it'll pop up here. Just take a look at this. Not bad, 255. We want to get it for at least 1329. See if we can find it for. Oh, again, Walmart, another good product right here. Boom. Is it just the? I think it was both of them though. It was on the bar soap. Okay, so you got the body wash and the bar soap. Here's the body wash. We'll add that. Sometimes it does kind of put both of them into the the Google search so you can't well it's out of stock but it's four ninety nine here and what did we find the other one for seven ninety eight so let's just add that up four ninety nine plus seven ninety eight you're looking at thirteen bucks we said we wanted to be at oh, okay 1329 not bad so if we get these both products if they were in stock for 13 bucks you're looking at three dollars and 62 cent profit it's not bad definitely not a bad product i have to do a little bit more research make sure you can get this product because that other one was kind of sold out if it was in stock you definitely could make a profit here 362 you buy the soap buy the body wash together looking at three dollars and sixty two cents as you can see this reverse sourcing is definitely the best method app that you have to pay for but as you can see this definitely comes in handy when you're reverse sourcing it makes it so much easier so much quicker so much faster to find these products without having to look through Amazon for hours and hours and hours it just kind of brings up their best products good tool to to add to your arsenal so let's keep looking this is a different store front as you can see these are top products again to kind of just list them i'm looking at their graphs always amazon on the listing okay the stool softeners for cvs let's see if we can find somebody else's product Amazon's on the listing. Amazon's on the listing. Nike. Try to stay away from big brands. A lot of people like to sell them. It's kind of competitive. Some people get them on discounts. What we're doing, let's see what we can find. This one right here. This one looks like this one looks like a product sold on some kind of supplement store, nature store. Let's see if we can find it. It's right here, okay. Alright, alright. 25% if you get your first order. Put your email, so that's 25% discount. Subscribe, we can get it for 33%. Looks like they're selling it here. If you buy it for one time for eighty nine ninety five, what do we need to get it for? 59 okay so if we get it for 69.95 plug that in so there's a profit of four dollars but would you want to spend 69 bucks to make four bucks a little squeeze a couple more dollars out of it at six but I don't know, six dollars, seventy bucks. We make six bucks. Doesn't sound like a good deal to me. Just keep, just kind of again, kind of went to the top. Just put in CVS, typed in CVS at the top. Scroll through this. Look at these 
rating, see what type of products are selling from CVS so I can find the sellers. Again, we're looking for sellers. That way we can look through their store, see what types of products they're selling. It's called reverse sourcing, reverse sniping, if you want to call it anything. But yeah, we're going to check out this ant ass. So we'll just scroll, see what we find. We got some stool softeners. This one's a two pack. I want to get it for at least eleven fifty five. So we'll just click on the Google search, see what we can find. Five percent cash back. Buy one, get one forty percent off. Okay, that's good. What do we want on the package? Hundred milligram, thirty count. 100 milligram so we're talking about 829 so we're getting the second one for about this minus 8 about $4.97 so Eight twenty nine. We're looking at thirteen twenty six. Dollar twenty nine profit. Let's see what it's really not really gonna get much. Let's see if we can get twenty two fifty out of it. It's not a lot of profit, but I mean it is a profit if you sell it for twenty two fifty. Maybe wait it out. Play the waiting game. Come in between these four and five people right here. And maybe you can luck out. Get it for a little bit more. It might go up. What I like to do is check the 20. Look at that. Somebody's selling it for, yeah, they got 24. If you get it for 24 bucks, sell it for 24 bucks, you're looking at $3.42 profit. ROI 25%. Spending $3.22. So you're spending $13.26 to make $3.42. I mean, that's not bad. Definitely some good money. If you keep on finding products like this, it's something that definitely you can build on. Again, I just went live, just kind of looking through these products, trying to see what I can find, you know, seeing if I can find any products for CVS. This might be something I might have to use. I have that gift card. This is something that helped you out, you know, break it down, how I kind of look for my products just using uh, seller amp and amazon if this helped you please uh, drop a comment down at the bottom that way i can keep bringing you this content build this page if you have any questions uh, drop a comment down below also hopefully this is something you liked if you did please leave me a thumbs up subscribe to the page that'll help me build this page again and i'll bring you some more new stuff i'll be thinking of some new things if y'all have anything just let me know till then y'all have a good one